Hey y'all, Craig Wall, Georgia Trapping and Fishing. I hadn't done a update on my garden since we tilled it up, so I figured I'd take you out and show you what we got planted. All right, let's go take a look. All right, first thing right here, we planted our cantaloupes. They're all doing pretty good. I think we probably need to uh, thin them out. But so far, we hadn't done it. So I'll see which ones are the dominant ones. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll thin them down some. But they're doing good so far. These right here are my rattlesnake pole beans. You can see they already got runners coming up pretty good all the way up. So these are right here. Once they start blooming, I tell you what, they are dynamite. They're some of the best producing pole beans. I planted those three weeks ago, and then I came back in here about three or four days ago. Well, it's been about a week now. Planted a second row of them up through here. That way, when the first ones quit producing, these outside ones will just be producing pretty good. This is my carrots. <laughs> they didn't. Uh, they didn't do what I thought they was going to do this year. But we, it's the first time we ever tried to grow them. So yeah, I don't know. They might make it. They might not. If we do, we'll have two carrots, I guess, to eat. Uh, right here is our cabbage and it's doing real good they're already starting to get work on getting heads right now but we had to put them in this planter put a net over them because the butterflies laid eggs in them last year and we kept getting those uh, caterpillars all in them and we had beautiful cabbage last year and we cut them open slap full of worms well not worms caterpillars so we had to chunk them so i'm hoping this will take care of that this year i don't know first year I ever tried it so we'll see these are our tomatoes they're all loaded with blooms and i got a few little tomatoes on them uh four of these are uh, aromas and two of them are bonnie's best so and then in between each one of them i got my bell peppers and i got a few little bell peppers on them but they're just now starting to put out and flower pretty good but everything i mean i tell you it's 91 degrees here today so everything looks a little droopy but so far they've hung in there i'm trying to water them at least every other day these right here are my Mega Marley's tomatoes. And they've done real good from seed. I put, we planted these about a week after we planted all the other ones, but they've grown real good from seed. I was, I was kind of worried they wouldn't do good out here, but they've, they've done real good. And supposedly these get real big and bushy. So I'm happy with them so far. And this row right here is my okra and the ants have been eating it to pieces so i don't know if okra is going to make it or not they came up good and did good but i've got so many i put out ant stuff everywhere and they're still all in them so i hope ants don't kill them out then up through here i've got my pickling cucumbers and they've done real good they're just getting ready to start getting runners i'll have to put them up here on this lattice but i've been real happy with these too i'm really looking forward to having a bunch of pickles this year we put up good many pickles last year we got two sides of them and this right here is my corn corn's doing real well of course i don't have enough to i mean that's probably a hundred a hundred stalks 
but most of this corn right here we're going to be using in our soup the corn the okra and the tomatoes will go in our be homemade vegetable soup so i think it'll be a plenty for that and then over here we've got this little planter we built last year we kind of changed it around a little bit these are zucchinis and straight neck squash and they're all doing they're loaded with blooms all of them been blooming real good this side's even better but you can see that's a straight neck squash i think you can see a little squash on it but all of them got have done real good in this bed they always do good in this bed then back here we got some peppermint and spearmint it ain't got no bigger back here i may have to move these out and put them on out in the garden somewhere i'm not sure what's going on with these the last ones i had were big bushes so and they're healthy looking they're just not getting any bigger and right here these are our sweet potatoes they're all doing pretty good it's the first year we ever tried sweet potatoes too but I gotta get some uh, something for them to trellis up on or they're just gonna pile up in these planters out here that's kind of neat trying something new like that and these are our little bitty broccolis we planted let me see there's one two three four five six seven of these broccolis we planted these from seed and they they came up pretty good slow go but they're getting there and these are a big broccoli we've already cut the head off both of them these got a few new ones starting but we've already cut two big spears of broccoli off already and it's done real good it's good broccoli so i appreciate you coming along my little garden tour so far so good i'm hoping everything does good this year all my okra my silver queen corn my pickling cucumbers and my mega marley tomatoes all came from seeds from m b heritage farms they're they got a store on their channel their youtube channel so how about y'all going by there and check out michael and bobby jean they're really good folks and they got great seeds so i'll leave a link to their channel in my description page all right y'all well i guess that does it thanks uh thanks a bunch for coming along and hanging in here with me i hope you enjoyed the garden tour we'll come back and visit it again maybe in a month and see what we got growing and blooming so thanks for coming along and i reckon i'll see y'all on the next one